Boom fans, we're gonna here to talk about the CUDA Pearl. I'm gonna try not to mess up like I did on the CUDA Power Core Solid and keep calling it a CUDA C. I'll try not to do that, but it's an, it's, an, it's the same exact core. They just come out with a pearl cover for it. And I, I, if you guys remember watching the uh, CUDA uh, Power Core Solid that I, that I made, the video for that, I really like that ball, especially for a SIM solid. And uh, it just was really good at storing energy and having pop on the back end for a solid. And this one does not disappoint. I mean, you want to talk about pop on the back. This thing comes out of the and exits the pattern and, and really drives through the pins. So you'll get a chance to see that in the video. Uh, but yeah, let's get to bowling and talk more about it then. Let's go. Okay, we'll talk a little bit about the Columbia 300 CUDA Power Core Pearl. I'm trying to say that right so I don't uh, keep saying CUDA C. You know, it's stuck on the brain. But uh, symmetrical pearl, built it up at 50 by 4 by 30. That's uh, a pretty typical layout for me, especially for sim pearls. Uh, 50 doesn't really matter. Four inches from my pin. It's a pretty safe pin distance. And I say I plan on this wetter uh, condition. It's uh, I'm staying in where I was with probably the. Uh, web hybrid the dark web hybrid but uh it's clearly uh, not as strong a ball as the dark web hybrid if you guys watch that video you'll see i'm playing about the same spot as that ball and that's what the ball's doing so it's definitely cleaner and more down lane uh, than the dark web hybrid but went with a four inch pin for my pap and uh, 30 on the back which is a pretty typical angle for me i like that 30 35 range uh, sometimes i go to 25 that's a pretty typical layout so anyway so yeah i started moving right a little bit to catch the friction catch the break point at the right spot you see me a little further right there and then the balls break 810 but uh, i'm getting closer i just gotta soften up get a get around it just a hair more from that spot there yeah getting there it's almost there just bumping a little right catch trying to find that spot where this ball on on this condition will read the lane at the right spot and still go through the pins i'm pretty sure i do get there eventually but anyway uh specs on it rg 2.50 it's kind of them in the middle a differential there's a good shot there see i went through the pins i finally found the right spot differentials uh 0 0.047 uh that's about medium as well in my opinion so you got like a medium rg and medium differential um but what this ball's really excelled for me is when the lanes open up and it's game three and you need something to get through the front to so still make the turn on the back. There you go. I caught it a little bit more, get around it a little bit more, read the friction at the right spot, and it goes through the pins, runs over the eight pin. So yeah, Columbia 300, they did the, they brought back the CUDA solid. I, I personally believe that was a really good ball. Glad they brought it back. And then this CUDA Pearl is, uh, it might even be better. I don't know. It depends, I guess, on the bowler and where you're bowling at. But it's it's at least as good. It's really good. Like I said, very clean through the fronts. Um, very continuous down lane. Uh, those are ingredients that most of us would agree that that's what we want. Uh, so, yeah, see, I'm finding my little sweet spot there. I've moved far enough right now so that I see it. And, uh... Ball's going through the pins fine, but definitely weaker than the dark web hybrid. Uh, the track stealth pearl, I do not have any shots of that. I do have that video out, you guys can go watch. Uh, track stealth pearl's a little weaker than this, it probably goes a little longer than this CUDA pearl, but they're pretty close, pretty similar. I will be having my uh, radioactive vibe video coming out pretty soon, too. That was a good shot. I fell off balance to say it was a good shot, it was a bad shot, but. Went through the pins really good. But uh, the radioactive vibe, it's uh, be coming out soon. Uh, it's pretty close to this ball. It's a solid that's shiny, so I don't think it's as angular 
as the Kuda Pearl, but you guys will get a chance to see that when I come out with the video. That'll be probably be coming out next. We'll be looking for that. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already. That one there, I got a little up the lane, a little fast. Didn't soften up my release as good. It gets past the break point a little bit. I will tell you this, if your center is known for a lot of friction, uh, don't sleep on this ball. Uh, the center I'm bowling at now has got a lot more oil. Uh, I would need probably... I can maybe throw this game three, uh, maybe game four, game five. If I'm bowling a tournament, I might be able to pull it out. But they do open up pretty good and get a lot of friction eventually. But on these fresh conditions like I'm bowling on here, I've got to soften up and get around to get it to go through the pins. But uh, yeah, if you got a lot of hand or you struggle with speed, how good that goes through the pins once I get in the right spot. Uh, this would be a good ball for you. If you don't have a lot of hand, but you do have a lot of speed, and your center does not have any friction, you absolutely do not want to drill this ball. But there's several others that you would in that case. But, yeah. So, as I said before, uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. Make sure you're visiting our website. And if you're in the Vero Beach area, uh, come see me and let's get you something drilled up. Uh, could be this ball, depending on the person. But anyway, all right. I hope you enjoyed the video. All right, there you go. You had a chance to see the Cuda Power Core Pearl. I uh, hope you liked the video. I hope you've uh, liked and subscribed the uh, channel. If you have not, uh, please do so. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, this is a really good ball, especially whenever they open up a little bit, and you need that ball to get through the fronts and make the turn. Uh, it's exactly what it does. So, yeah, till the next one. Boom out.